It's time sensitive. Okay. What are you looking at? You're testing that preposterous contraption again. It's not preposterous, it's not a contraption. And mind your own business. In my day, we knew how to protect ourselves. Well, in your day, you could pretty much turn back the Indians with a Daniel Boone musket, couldn't you? Ah, sarcasm, the grumpy man's wish. Sharpen a pencil, would you? What's up? The target's in the air, they're gonna launch the intercept any moment. And I'm sure somebody will come along soon thereafter and tell me it didn't work. Why do you take that attitude? Because it's not gonna work. What do I get if it works? What do you get? Yes. Well, I can't make you Thailand's ambassador to the U.S. because I just signed that guy's letter. Come with me to the Situation Room. You know what you are? You are the Charlie Brown of missile defense. The Pentagon is Lucy. I'm not familiar with the reference, sir. Peanuts, Charlie Brown. I've heard of them. I'm just not conversing in them. Why? I've never read the comics. Leo, were you born at the age of 55? I know that there's a dog. Charlie Brown wanted to kick a football and Lucy would hold it, except she'd pull it away at the last minute and Charlie Brown would fall on his butt. That's funny. No, but each time Lucy would find a way to convince Charlie Brown that this time she wouldn't pull the ball away, but she would. And once again, Charlie Brown would fall on his butt. And that's funny? It's satirical. What's it satirizing? The DOD bringing you to the Situation Room every time they run a new missile test so that you can come tell me how great it works, so I'll put money in the NMD system. You should put money in the NMD system. It doesn't work. It will work one day, soon. There are a couple of three-star generals in there. Call them Lucy and you're on your own. Good morning, Mr. President. Hey. Where are we? The kill vehicle's on a clear trajectory. What's its time to the target? 50 seconds. Colonel, could you walk the president through? Yes, sir. Mr. President, approximately three minutes ago, a missile was launched with a simulated nuclear warhead from the Kwajalein Atoll in the South Pacific. And it's going to hit my garage in New Hampshire exactly when? Well, sir, once the missile cleared cloud cover, it was detected by the early warning satellites, which launched an interceptor or kill vehicle. SRBCEP is solid rocket booster separation. Now that means the high resolution radar on the ground has gotten a lock on signal from the kill vehicle. Go SRBCEP. Confirm solid rocket booster separation. Kill vehicle is away. Coming over at 044. Roger. Roger control. Take out that 447. Go ahead, 447. So what happens now? In 20 seconds it collides with the nuclear war. Where? Outer space. 17 miles above the Earth's atmosphere. Okay, but we don't have anybody out there right now, do we? Sir. When we stay at the Oriental in Bangkok, we have to check out James Michener's typewriter. Intercept in five. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Is that silence usually a pretty good sign? No. Negative intercept. <sighs> have we got sensor readings? Overshot its it was just enthusiastic. By how much? Uh, Leo? By how much did it miss the target, Colonel? 137. We missed it by 137 feet. Miles. We missed it by 137 miles? When you consider it the size of outer space, Leo, that's not so bad. Sir. By the way, the words you're looking for are, oh, good grief. 